Hello everyone, I am Jonathan J. Reinhardt, and I'm here with you at this Facebook Live video, which, if I am so able, will go ahead and get it into YouTube. Try doing this via YouTube Live, and that just, it's not working. And try doing Facebook Live from my MacBook Pro, and of course, it only wanted to use the onboard camera instead of using my HD <laughs> camera my 1080p so it's ridiculous anyway the reason why I'm doing this video is got a little bit of mail that I wanted to do an unboxing for so we're gonna do that and we will share this with you so let's go ahead and as this wasn't what was intended we're gonna just kind of dry rig a little something so we got this piece of mail that came in addressed to Wargaming Recon and well let's open it up so get my handy and let her open it. We'll see what it is. Normally, when I do these things, I look first. <laughs> Even if I'm like, oh, I've never opened this. I look because I want to know what it is before I open. This, I didn't. I believe this is actually from listener Russ Lockwood. I believe it's who it is. He's been a guest on the show. He's a game designer. And so we're just going to lift this up. And I got to say, I have no idea what this is because I wasn't given a heads up. Sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. And I just, I'm having trouble. Let's see, scotch tape. So it shouldn't be hard to do, but I bet it's going to be interesting. And I have a theory on what it pertains to. So let's just open this up and we'll see what's in here. A little bit of curiosity factor. Okay, and so I pull out. And I get this cool package from Russ. And let's read the note from him. So first of all, it comes with... <laughs> so a while back I talked about the card Mogrifier. And look at this. They had their Kickstarter. It didn't go well. They redid their Kickstarter. Completely funded. I wanted to cover it on the show and the timing just didn't work out. But it's funny. They used the card Mogrifier on an old Magic card. And did this. Funded. I love that. Way to go, Russ. Good job. And <laughs> in his note here, it says, Jonathan, last episode you said you didn't get anything in the mail except junk mail and bills. May this be an exception worth mentioning on your next podcast. Enjoy, Russ. So this is Wally Simon's World War II Secrets War Game Design, Volume 7, a tabletop toolkit of ideas analysis and Rule Mechanics, edited by Russ Lockwood. Russ has been so kind. He sent me all of these that he's done. And he sent me the Brother um, Alred ones that he's done, um, the As Per Margin, and Snappy Nappy, which is his set of Napoleonics. And I can't wait to dive in, but I just want to show a quick peek to all of you here on YouTube Live. And you'll see it on our YouTube channel if I get <laughs> a way to do it. So this looks really cool. We'll review this. I actually have a bunch of them, so we'll do like a mammoth... Wally Simon's Secrets of War Game Design kind of thing uh, review, and I'll get some of the other guys on the show to get in and do it. Uh, Alex would be great for it because he's a game designer. He's a burgeoning game designer, and Adrian has a long history, long history, dealing with this kind of stuff. So it'll be awesome. We'll get him involved. Wally Simon's Secrets of War Game Design. You can get these from On Military Matters. So go to, I'm just double checking. That they still are. They used to be um, published in part by On Military Matters. And this is not, does not say actually at first glance as I hold this up and hide behind. Uh, but I believe it is. So go to onmilitarymatters.com, I believe it is, and you can purchase it there. And I believe you can even get them overseas in the UK. And I can't remember the distributor there. But there's a distributor who kind of partners up with On Military Matters who does stuff over there. But you should be able to get those there. And these are always just so well done. Oh, here we go, in the back. All available from onmilitarymatters.com or in the UK, Caliber Books. How could I forget Caliber Books? I don't know. This is crazy. I can't believe I forgot Caliber Books, but that's where you can get it. So, Wally Simons World War II. Wally Simons World War II Secrets of War Game Design right here. And a little note from Russ. That's... <laughs> That's right. No, thank you, Russ, for listening to the show. I appreciate all the listeners. I'm excited to get this and the card modifier. So I have a, a demo version. I'm one of the few people that got sent a demo from the first Kickstarter. And I'm excited about that. I, I 
look forward to using it. And we're going to do like an actual review of it at some point. I'm hoping we can do it this season 2017, but I'm not honestly 100% positive whether or not we can do it in 2017. And we'll get around to it. There's so many things to review, but we get that. We get this, which is really cool. And just all sorts of rules mechanics in here. Uh, in the back, it says, oh, you can see for yourself instead of me reading it all. But it shows right here all of the contents, which are really neat. Um, things on um, our armor combat, so tanks and that sort of stuff. Battalion skirmishes, you got saving throw systems. Uh, how to deal with command and control for bridges. 54 millimeter figures for um, skirmishes. Naval fighting, city fights. Stalingrad, which would be great, actually. Would come in handy down here for Huzzah 2017, because Stalingrad's a big event in there. Solo gaming, 50mm battles, carrier battles, just lots of really cool stuff. One thing I will say that I love about these that Russ had made an editorial decision on for layout. Leave space. So you see, so you can write notes. These are meant to be written in. That's partly why they're, you know, a soft cover and the paper is a nice paper you can write on. Russ wants you to look through. He wants you to read what you like and annotate it. So please do. I, I've done that for reviews. And normally I'm someone, because I work in a library, and you get a book and you're like, I can't write in a book? No. That's bad. We don't deface books. We don't write in them. This is okay. You write in it. You get them. It's awesome. And I wish I could tell you the price point on it. But unfortunately, there's no MSRP on it because review copy. Thank you, Russ, for that. So we've got another thing here. It says customer stickers enclosed. And when I first got this, I, I had, thought I had an idea what it was. And it turns out that I think I'm wrong. Because I'm expecting some rules to come from the UK for some new war game systems we've been approached about. And I don't want to say a whole lot more about it in case I'm not supposed to just yet. So I'm waiting for them to come. But they're working through their people and working through the American distributors to get them. So we'll have that coming. I think and we'll open. Let's see here. We'll go. No need for this. I brought the scissors. No kitchen shears, actually. No need for those. I think I know what these are. I think these are for Patreon backers. So let's. Oh, first time seeing these in person. These are the Wargaming Recon. I feel like I'm pimping Wargaming Recon back here. Woo! Wargaming Recon here in my shirt. <laughs> I am the Wargaming Recon. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> um, it's just it's everywhere. I am marketing the craziness out of this. So we're giving you some bumper stickers. They are Patreon reward level that you can get. I think they're $5 a month is what we have them at. Wargamingrecon.com slash Patreon. So these are cool. These go on the car. Bumper sticker. I got to say they're not magnetic. And that's part of the reason why we were able to get them affordable enough to offer them to you for 5 bucks. But the downside of them being not magnetic, you might not want them actually on your bumper. I know some people don't. I don't actually. I put them on the rear window. Working with Recon. And it's it's a logo. It looks gorgeous. The only thing I would have loved if I had done was to have a, a version of this logo made with the website address on it. But that's okay. We spread the name. Spread the word. So if you want one, go to WargamingRecon.com. There's the camera. Uh -huh. I'm looking up here on my iPhone, above with the camera, and that's actually where you hear when you talk. There's the camera. I can look in the camera. Look at you. So WargamingRecon.com slash Patreon, and then pick the $5 reward level or custom level. Get in touch with me, Jonathan at WargamingRecon.com, and we'll do a custom level. We can include this in your custom level so you can get those. And I got a bunch because... You get the lower price point, and this way I can just I'll mail them out to you, so I can actually package things together. And they have the plastic kit gun as well, but I might steal one myself. Or steal, I'm, I'm the host, maybe I should just take one for marketing. But I will steal one <laughs> and put it on my car. And maybe see if my wife wants one on her car. And then that leaves many more for backers, and I can always get more. Really cool. And not technically unboxing stuff. I was going to do as a separate video. But since I got you here, I might as well just keep going. 
so I had done some posting recently on Facebook and I think other social media uh, that we have. And it went out to our Patreon backers. You really should become a Patreon backer, actually. Let me just kind of pause for a sec. Become a Patreon backer, not just because it supports the show. One dollar a month. The reason why is because you get special contact from me where you can give me input and your input comes in. A lot of times I'll send it out to um, to Patreon backers, feedback and special things that never makes it ever out to the public. It just goes to the backers and that's it. And that helps to shape the show. One of the things that I had done to them first and then I shared it on social media was about this piece of gear. So this is, I'll take the fuzzy hat off. It is a Tascam DR07 MK2, which probably means nothing to many of you. It has these mics on the top. They go in, they come out, and I can use this to record in the field. My buddy, Peter Bryant, host of the Mythwits, mythwits.com, gave it to me. It's like 280 bucks, 290 bucks for this thing. I was able to pick up an SD card, a micro SD card. They're super tiny, which is why they're called micro. Here we go. It only takes certain ones, and this is storage basically it's no different than putting your models into a carrying case but it's storage for this so i can then take this and go in the field and say i'm at a convention and mike Payne is running his game because i can never get mike on the show at conventions because he's always running things so when we do a live show he's busy and that's great because he's gming he's creating great content and people are having a lot of fun but if i want to have him talk about something about the hobby i can go up to him and i can be like so mike Payne." Welcome to the show. I am, of course, Jonathan J. Reiner. What do you have to say about the current status of the tabletop hobby? And I go, here you go. And then he speaks right into it. And, of course, this fuzzy thing, believe it or not, it's expensive. But Peter is really generous to me. Thank you so much, Peter. This little fuzzy, my daughter loves it. She thinks it's like a pet, so she takes it and she hugs it. And she goes, Ooh. kids, right? Everything's a toy to them. What am I saying? I'm a grown-up playing with... <laughs> Toy soldiers, right? So it goes on top. It's a windscreen. And the reason why is it does a good job. Not a great job. But the reason why is when you breathe and you go, ah, ah, this picks it up. But if I go, ah, ah, this will help diffuse it so that doesn't come through. And also if I'm doing like p -p pick up p -p P's and B's are really hard sounds. And they actually sound and have the impact of like, Something hitting them. So saying a p into a mic is the same as hitting your hand with the fist. So this helps with that. So I'd be like, Mr. Mike Payne, what do you have to say? And it looked like I'm eating it. There's a photo going on social media of me like this. Because it looks like I'm eating it. Uh, someone, <laughs> Jay, actually, listen to Jay, who has his own show, The Veteran Wargamer. It's a great um, podcast. You should listen to it. But he said it looked like I was eating a really big triple, <laughs> which is funny. So we're using this. Uh, if you listen... To the audio that we had, I'd love your feedback because if you think it sounded good using this, then I will begin using this more often and save some money for us. And then the last thing I want to share with all of you, you can help pick some stuff that's going to be coming on the show. So I would love to do some more reviews. And I have some different type of product here that we normally haven't covered on the show. So one of them, this is super cool. So this is one of the first sets of the brand new Cube of Death game by Peter Bryant. And you can see, he gave it to me at TotalCon. It's still in the thing. It's a mix of uh, role-playing game and geek trivia. He's redone it. He's going to be launching it on Kickstarter this year. And he's going to come on the show at some point, either this year or next year, to talk about it. As I'm struggling with taking the cards out. Because it's, oh, aha, uh -huh, easy. I thought it was connected, anyway. And the Cube of Death logo. It's changed some things. You got weapons and things to do. So uh, I'd love to know, like, do you think this is something you'd like us to cover on the show? You can play a game. Maybe you could even get Alex and Adrian, at least, because they're, they're nearby, to do a, an actual play live podcast. Do it on YouTube or something at the local game store. And some questions and that things of that sort so cupid death do you think we should cover this on the show do a review please comment and let us know say cube of death say yes cube of death you know yay cube of death whatever 
you think would be appropriate. So that's one thing. Let us know if you think Cupid Death is something to do. This kind of pertains to listener mail. So this is, was given to me many years ago by Andrew Malcolm. The show is dedicated to his memory. And he would very kindly from time to time send some packages. So this is a pocket edition of Ogre by Steve Jackson Games. I've never opened it. It's still whatever. In the package, people love Ogre. And I know it's an older game, but what do you think? Should we play it? Should we re review it, cover it on the show? Let me know. Comment. Forbidden Desert. This was covered very well, actually, on the YouTube podcast video show, whatever you want to call it, Tabletop with Will Wheaton. And that's actually how I heard about it. There's a Forbidden um, Island as well. And this looks like a lot of fun. A little different. We don't do a whole lot of board games, actually. We're not a board game podcast, so that's why like something like this I, I stay away from. But do you think this would be something you'd like to have the Wargaming Recon take on? Again, get some of the guys together, we play it, and then cover it on the show. Maybe we have some live video for you. And finally, Venetia is another board game. Not something that we normally would cover here. But this was something that I received a couple years back from doing the Extra Life 24-Hour Gamerthon. And Ben Gerber, uh, who's head honcho of the Troll in the Corner Podcast Network and the Troll in the um, Team Troll for that, uh, which we belong to for Extra Life, has sent this my way. And this has been here for a few years, but it's, you know, the rise of Venice, really, uh, during the Renaissance. I've heard good things about it. It has good ratings on Board Game Geek. What do you think? Cover it on the show? I know it's not normally the kind of thing we would do. We do more war gaming and not so much board games. I don't know. So, anyway, those are your options. So, just comment or send an email to jonathan at wargamingrecon.com. You can tweet us at wargamingrecon.com or on Facebook. Just leave a comment here or a comment on the YouTube video if you're watching this on YouTube. Vote for Ven uh, Venetia. I was about to say Venice. Vote for Venetia. Vote for Steve Jackson Games Ogre Pocket Edition, actually. Vote for The New Cube of Death by Peter Bryant. Or vote for Forbidden Desert. Or you can be a contrarian and say, no, none of them. None, nada. That's it. So... Those are your options. Thank you, everyone who's sent feedback in, who's written stuff in. Thank you to our Patreon backers. You could get one of these if you become a Patreon backer. WargamingRecon.com slash Patreon. And thank you to Mr. Russ Lockwood for this. This is a nice treat. Look forward to diving into this, and we will cover that on an upcoming episode of the show. So thank you so much for watching this video. It's long, a lot longer than I expected. But thank you for watching this video here, and thank you for being a listener of... Wargaming Recon. And as always, you know the deal. Keep on gaming!